Severe droughts, stronger winds, more fires, plus more tropical cyclones over the Pacific. And now, large winter surf in the country. These are all connected to a global weather phenomenon within the Pacific Ocean. NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is uh, forecasting this event to uh, reach or to peak at the strong um, intensity level. Uh, and even uh, they're looking at a three in 10 chance of this event being what they call historically strong. A strengthening El Nino has brought warmer than average sea surface temperatures to the equatorial Pacific. And with these warmer than normal waters, we will see a shift in our wet season in Hawaii. We're already dry and, and people have already noticed this. We, we, we have impacts already going on and it's not expected to get better. Uh, we're looking at drier than normal conditions all the way into spring of next year. So it's uh, pretty significant um, and haven't seen this, uh, this level of dryness in a while, or at least projected dryness. And with any drought comes major fire danger concerns statewide. The vegetation is not expected to recover significantly. And so all that dry fuel out there, whatever, you know, whatever's out there is not gonna recover. And, and so you have a higher chance of out of season um, brush fire ignitions. There is one silver lining. During an El Nino, stronger Pacific storms may bring bigger surf, as we are already seeing large sets on the North Shore today. And that may mean Eddie could go again this upcoming season. Yeah, potentially you might have two years in a row. Uh, you know, we had the one this year, early this year, and and El Nino's produced the you know the type of surf that you could could hit the uh, eddy threshold. So yeah, it's a it's a it's a chance. I would say you know better than normal chance. Drew Davis, Hawaii News Now.